Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Gracias por estar ahí una vez más. El vídeo que vais a ver a continuación es un vídeo que hice con Nobuatsu Aoki. Yo creo que solo los más veteranos sabrán de quién se trata. Nobu fue un piloto que estuvo en el Mundial bastante tiempo, estuvo corriendo con Honda. Eh, creo que también con Suzuki. Una vez retirado se dedicó a desarrollar, fue el piloto de pruebas de Suzuki. Y como explica en el vídeo, fue él el que básicamente marcó la línea que después llevaría a Suzuki a ganar el Mundial con eh, Joan Mir y a Alex Rins ganar esas carreras al final de la época de la era Suzuki en MotoGP. Es un vídeo un poco complicado de entender porque eh, Nobu habla en inglés y entonces hay que prestar bastante atención. Así que es un, un vídeo para los, lo que llamaríamos los hardcore. Pero es muy interesante porque habla de... Pues cuenta cómo fue la evolución de Suzuki del V4 al 4 en línea. Habla de... Da su opinión sobre la situación de Honda y habla de Pedro Acosta. Casi es más impactante lo que me contó después de una vez apagado el micrófono, una pena, de lo que vio a hacer a Pedro Acosta en la pista. Pero en cualquier caso siempre está bien ¿no? escuchar a una persona que no piensa como nosotros, un ex piloto de gran premio y eh, una persona que como piloto de pruebas analiza muy bien lo que ve en la pista. Por ejemplo, hay una, un detalle que ya le oiréis que dice que el sonido del motor de la KTM ha cambiado y que él cree que ahora mismo ellos tienen un motor ya súper potente y súper competitivo. Eh, lo dicho, no es un vídeo para cualquiera, pero lo queríamos subir porque lo tenemos y creemos que es muy interesante. Gracias por estar ahí, un beso a todos, hasta luego. Nobu, Hi. first of all, thank you very much uh, for being with us here. No, thank you. It's a pleasure to see you. Um, what does a retired MotoGP rider do? What, in, in what do you spend your life actually? <laughs> well, well, my my uh, after racing career, which is a uh, when I stopped uh, MotoGP race was uh, 2004. I stopped, but. After World, I've been I had been working with Suzuki yes. for a long time as a, as a test rider, you know. And uh, yeah, I I did many, many things actually. <laughs> <laughs> so then you know I developed uh, uh, yeah developed MotoGP bike. In the meantime, I have the how to say uh, kids bike school. Uh -huh. in Japan and uh, yeah, which is uh, also uh, for racing and uh, for more how do you say uh, more public yeah uh, so uh, educating them to write no to no no, uh, no no educated I just want to uh, how do you say uh, I want to give opportunity to let them try motorcycle Yeah, because when I when I was young, like at 10 or something like this, you know, we have the uh, many round, and uh, uh, you know, my grandpa has a 150cc bike, and uh, we can try easier. But the but the things change a lot, and uh, no place and uh, no motorbike, you know, uh, to try for the for for kids. So. Mm, You know, from my experience, when when once once kids try motorcycle, you know, wow, yes, a, then this uh, this memory will you know uh, gives passion of the motorcycle forever. This is my my uh, my opinion. So then, And does it work? I hope so, because uh, because you know since the 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 kids who try the I uh, okay 
bike trial or whatever. So then afterward, when they grow up, maybe 10 years, then, you know, they're like uh, 17, 18, when they try to get a driver license, you know. So, oh, maybe I try to motorcycle too, you know. So then that experience, my, my kid's bike will, you know, I would say success because of, uh, otherwise, you know, football and also baseball very popular in Japan. Baseball. Baseball or football as well. But uh, if they want to try, okay. It's very they easy, have, no? Ex exactly. But motorcycle, not. So, you know, once, once they get the, some experience from the kids, you know, uh, maybe my, how to say, um, you know, motorcycle culture will, uh, will go, I don't know, but, uh, you know, just, I think in Japan, also in Spain, very difficult moment to get a more uh, racer or whatever yeah. uh, to, to in the past, every time you went to the Japanese Grand Prix, they mm -hmm. were surprised. Yeah. You in the 250, yeah. Kato appeared, so yeah. many, many, many yeah. riders. Right. This, uh, uh, this growing has completely disappeared. Mm. Now, to be competitive, you have to come to Spain, basically. Exactly. Right? Right, right, right. But there seems not to be an interest by mm. young people. Yeah. So, so when, when I was kids, like a 1990, around that area, you know, the motorcycle company have uh, a lot of budget, you know, for the racing, for the oh, yeah. population, or whatever. So the, the, this money comes to the, my place, I mean, the, the young, younger, young rider place, which is for us, like uh, around 20 years old, you know. So yeah, Honda help us a lot, a lot, a lot. To, to get the, you know, uh, racing ex experience, you know, all Japan Championship, uh, Grand Prix, blah, 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 you know. So, but since, you know, the, the uh, motorcycle sales going down, so they cut budget, you know. Well, when did you start to be a professional rider? With which, which age? 17. 17 already? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, that was a good moment because uh, uh, Japanese economy growing, growing like this and uh, the many big company curious to sponsoring uh, motorcycle racing. So one of the, the biggest company in Japan uh, support me as a, you know, a teenager. Uh, teenager. So, so you were a teenager with money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of, but the, 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 it helps and, uh, you know, uh, that's the experience and uh, also uh, they, Honda, prepare a good, good machine as well, you know, so. So, and, and your, your brothers, mm -hmm. did they see you making money and they said, okay, I want to jo join him or? Well, actually, the, the money doesn't, doesn't come my word, actually. Unfortunately, <laughs> you know, the, the money goes to the, all the expenses, you know, like uh, uh -huh. uh, having the racing equi equipment it is quite expensive, as you know. So the, 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 all the money goes to the, uh, you know, for the racing team. So, but, I was, you, you know, this makes our result higher and higher, you know. So all my brothers uh, helped, by, helped by Honda and uh, uh, I would say the, the big company, which is the Nishin, which is a, a noodle, noodle company, <laughs> noodle company <laughs> as you said, you know, <laughs> yeah. And, but it's funny because you started with Honda, mm -hmm. okay? And I, I know that Honda supports a lot, yes. or, uh, at least in the past. Yes. And, uh, but you are basically, or you were basically a Suzuki rider at the end, no? You consider you, yourself a Suzuki man? Uh, no? Well, the, the, my final, uh, final factory uh, involving was, you know, Suzuki. Yeah, quite a long time, like uh, 
maybe 20 years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say, yeah, Suzuki is the uh, uh, biggest, uh, how do you say, moment with, with them long time. So. Although you, the, you made third in the 500 championship with a Honda, no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and another thing, um, mm. you worked with Suzuki to, de de to develop the B4 MotoGP bike as well? Yeah, the, B4 the, and the uh, uh, G6. Double and the 4 in line? E, yeah, in line 4, yes. Yeah. So with big success, they retired winning, but winning races. Yeah, that winning was very races, strange. yeah. That was very strange. So your, your task was first you work with them in Japan, mm -hmm. then maybe Gintoli worked in Europe, and then the races, was mm -hmm. it, the mm -hmm. structure was like this? Yeah, like that, like that. But, I was involving inline four very, very from zero, uh -huh. from zero. So, uh, yeah. Meantime, you know, we can, I can make anything what I want. But uh, you know, we, I have to focus, which, which way we we have to go. You know. So, the meantime. Now, of course, uh, Mark winning all the time, <laughs> you know, so, oh, wow, we have to beat him, but how, you know, then the, yeah, my, how do you say, my, my target is, okay, I would say Mark is super, super, super talented rider. As you know. We know, we all know, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, if if he's there, maybe, well, I don't know, but the, if he he try Honda or Ducati or Yamaha, wh whatever, maybe they win championship. Yes. Anyhow, but if 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 they lose. Mark, what they do, you know. So I thought mm, maybe that we have to build up new G6 double. Okay, we we make MotoGP GP machine normal talented rider. Aha. Uh -huh. You, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Uh, to be competitive with a normal no, 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 Normal, but yeah, uh, you normal know. Normal MotoGP rider, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. They are still talented, but uh, you know, uh, even talented rider can win. So we want, I, want to, I want to make the, this, that machine, you know. So, and you achieved it very well. You won the World mm. Championship. Oh. Alex, <laughs> Alex Rins mm. won two out of the last mm -hmm. three races. Yeah. So that was the highlight of Suzuki, it is, no? It is, it is, yeah. And how long did it take when, from when you started zero mm. uh, four in line until it got on the track? We built up 2012. Actually, just after we stopped MotoGP once. Ah, so immediately? Immediately after, immediately after. So when they announced stop MotoGP, already they they wow. prepare the new MotoGP bike. And then you returned 16 or 15? Uh, 15, 15, yeah. Uh -huh, so yeah. three years. Yeah, three years. Uh, actually, we we back in 14, actually. But uh, some, some reason, uh, one year uh -huh. later. Yes, yeah. true. They were just mm. testing. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you, as uh, do you understand what is what happened in Honda, for example, why they got in the situation they are now? Do you think that they focus too much in one rider and forgot that the bike has to be ridden by other riders? Mm. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to say, but uh, you know. From my opinion, yeah. when Mark and Danny, also Danny was there. Yes, 2013, 14, yes. Yeah. 
that time, you know, they have the Mark, Mark's bike and Danny. Danny's bike. So Mark has a, okay, number one bike, but no, no number, maybe type A, I would say. And uh, Danny has a type B. So the type A, just only for the maybe Mark can can ride and can can win or can race. Yeah, yeah, can know. ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But type B is, uh, I would say, talented rider. For, okay. for talented okay. rider, now you I know. Understand. Yeah, yes. yeah. The, since they stopped type B, so they yeah, yeah. lost everything. I, I would say. The problem is that Taipei won how many? Seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, from company side, you know, okay, Type A winning. Okay, we uh, focus. concentrate, yes. focus. Type A. No problem. But the the uh, the my my. Uh, concerning was, you know, the mark, you know. Yes, what uh, happened? Yes. When, when that uh, super talented rider disappeared, nobody was capable no. to ride that yeah. bike. Exactly. So since they, well, Honda lost Danny, so the things happened like this, you know. So, well, Yes, because mm. look, in Honda arrived, mm. Jorge Lorenzo mm. didn't work, mm. uh, Alex Marquez, mm. Mm. Didn't work. Mm. Paul Espargaro didn't work. Mm. All world champions, mm. you know, and it didn't work. That yeah. bike was so, as a rider, that bike was super radical, no? Mm. I, yes. I, I spoke once with KTM people. Yes. Obviously, they were looking and analyzing everything. Mm. And they told me, look, they explained me, Mark's bike mm -hmm. was small. And low. low, and it was a very reactive mm -hmm. motorcycle. Yes, and they explained, for example, when you see Mark saving mm -hmm. crashes, yeah. it's because the bike was small and very reactive, and uh -huh. he was very used to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, when he left, mm. and they saw that that bike nobody could ride that no. bike, they started to strength, you know, to mm -hmm. make it longer, longer and, and up. higher. Mm. Yeah. At the point uh, you can go high. You cannot keep it low because you need the pitching. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So they turn into a Ducati bike, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Miller uh, said the same to me. He said, mm -hmm. look, at the end of last year, yeah. he said to me, if you take a KTM mm -hmm. and put in a mirror a Ducati, uh -huh. it's basically the same bike. Ah. <laughs> ah. The only ones who seems uh, uh, Nobu going in a different way is mm -hmm. Yamaha, no? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all Yamaha it looks like an old style bike. Yeah, well, yes, old fashion, I would say. Yeah. yeah. But still, yeah, the, the, uh, before start, before this, this, this start, I, I'm a little bit worried about that because the uh, looks yeah, same. The shape is like <laughs> a street bike, yeah. a li more or yeah. less. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know that so far looks like you know getting uh, better. I would say. Yeah, yeah, I tell you something. At least in Spain, mm. the race fans mm -hmm. are much into Yamaha than the others because mm. the others are turning like transformers. You know. Yeah. So pure racing guy or old racing guy, old mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. they oh, like right. the Yamaha. You know. <laughs> Okay, okay. Do you like this? Yeah. Do you like the new bikes with all this crazy mm. aero? Mm -hmm. As a rider, what do you think about that? Well, okay. Just looking, yeah, maybe I prefer the old fashion. Yes. You know? But as a, as a racing rider, you know, quicker is better, you know, best, you know. So <laughs> it doesn't matter what if it's uh, ugly or not, right? Ugly or not, first is you know uh, best. You Do know. you still write? 
I mean, right uh, on on circuit. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Well, now I'm very close to BMW now. Ah. Yes, and uh, I have M M thousand. Yes. RR. Wow. Um, I I try all the M and the new M and already different. How do you say the aero? Yes, the package. new M has also big wheels. Yeah, big, but it helps a lot. Yes. Um, but sorry, you use it on the street? No. No, no, uh, just on, on the, the track. track. Okay. Just on the track. And uh, I feel, you know, very. How do you say the new new one? Makes me makes the rider very comfortable, uh -huh. very smooth. Even you know, just small, small uh, aero changes. But then you know, I can imagine the the MotoGP bike that they they working a lot. As I show the uh, rider feels something, but uh, you know, as as a result. Rider feels comfortable. That's okay, you know. The the the, the uh, how how they they don't care how ugly it is. But they, yeah, yeah, no. Know. For example, yeah. look now everybody's <laughs> saying that the bikes yeah. are too fast. Yeah. And Peko is the same opinion as you. Mm. I am a rider. Mm. I want the bike as fast as possible. Yeah. Then it's my job <laughs> to make it uh, yeah. on the track. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. mm. that's what you you mm. think as a, as mm. rider. Do you follow MotoGP? I do, yes. Yes. I do. Now I work for Japanese MotoGP uh, program ah. as a, you know just a commentator. Uh, but I do more how do you say mechanical mechanical things. Ah, <laughs> the technician. You are the technician. No, no technician. But uh, yeah, I follow. Of course, I follow the all the race, all the practice, all the qualifying. You know. You know, and are these um, shown on public TV, open TV, or is pay-per-view? Pay-per-view. Pay-per-view, mm. also in Japan. Yes. But it must not be very popular then. Mm, very hard. Look, in Spain, mm. when the, it was open, we had three, four million viewers. Three, four million. Wow. 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 Pay-per-view, 200,000, 300,000. Pay-per-view is a good business for the promoter, but not for the sport. No. But this is a, another war. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regarding this season, 2024 mm -hmm. season, okay. what yep. do you expect? Well, because there are good news, no? Mark <gasps> on the Ducati. Wow. Yes. Uh, Acosta is showing mm -hmm. strong. Yeah. As you say, Fabio and Yamaha mm -hmm. are pushing also. Mm -hmm. How do you see the situation? Yeah, it's going to be very another interesting season because if uh, from my my opinion the yeah Acosta he is I would say super super talented yes rider because you know uh, his braking is amazing amazing I follow your article Right, new sports. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Thank you. No, and uh, yeah, from he was he racing Moto Three. He changed completely exactly. the, the how to how to, to turn. turn. Yeah, you know the the mm -hmm. since then yeah Moto Three, you know all the all all, all rider pro cornering his speed and uh, you know that's that's a way to make a lap time but uh, he makes both yes turning both and um, yeah I, I couldn't understand you know <laughs> look I, I, I think uh, I don't know if I wrote it mm. but I went to see Sito Pots mm -hmm. and I asked him Sito what does Acosta special mm. or different than the others yeah, yeah. he told me you can see it it's very easy I said sorry <laughs> but I am not a rider <laughs> He said he does less meters than the others. The others do a long way around yeah, the corners, okay. and he just ping ping. Mm -hmm. You know, he rides like a 500, but yeah. with no torque to get out of the turn. Exactly, exactly. That is the magic. Yeah, that's the magic. So, yeah, since then I I follow him how to how to ride. So yeah, I expect he, if he come to MotoGP, sure he he he's. 
he's quicker than maybe anyone. Yeah, there. and yeah. I don't know if you heard him these mm. days. Mm. What amazes me is who has designed his introduction in MotoGP mm. has done very because they have done it the step by step, yeah. you know, but yeah. very good. Very, yeah. And I think behind this is maybe uh, Dani Pedrosa. Because one thing Pedrosa has introduced in KTM is the way of working in the garage. Mm -hmm. That KTM, as a newcomer in the category, yeah. had no experience. The, how to test, mm -hmm. when to test, mm -hmm. what to test, mm -hmm. you know, this is important not to get lost. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, since yeah, Danny joined to KTM, you know, they their result comes. It, it took a time, but now yeah, yeah, they now, are coming. Yeah. I spoke with the KTM people, mm -hmm. and they told me that they have analyzed last season, mm -hmm. and they, you know, the engineers they get crazy with numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay. And they say that they don't need to improve the engine because they are, in their calculation, yeah. they are two tenths behind the Ducati. Two okay. tenths. Two tenths. So they said, we need to uh, take what we have to the highest point. So no engine, engine is enough. We have to work with electronics and aerodynamics. Oh. They are looking in two tenths in these areas. It's amazing, eh? Wow, wow. Yeah, but the, the, yeah, from, I saw the engine, you know, the KTM engineering, maybe the now the best engine they have. I, oh, yeah. I thought, I thought, well, because I hearing that their engine changing noise, I say, the bah, bah. Of, of course, they, all the manufacturers, they have the seamless yes. transmission. Yes. But how to, Setting, I would say. Yes. Is KTM has a different? Well, not different, but the most smooth uh -huh. smoothness. And uh, yeah, I really mm, uh, yeah, KTM made a big. I saw big step forward. You know, to to make the. Uh, Smoothness, I would say, yeah. Mm. So that that's from the K Danny's experience. Style, yes, yeah. exactly. He needs that right because he has no strength. You know? <laughs> yes, yes. And KTM is putting all in on Brad Binder, uh, waiting for yep. Acosta to arrive. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and I, you know, how I call Brad, I call him the pit bull of MotoGP. <laughs> because once he grabs on the behind the rider, uh -huh. he he stays there. Whatever yeah, the yeah, other one yeah, does, he yeah, is there yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. problem of Brad is that he doesn't know why he's fast. He's just fast. You know what? The, the engineer said, mm -hmm. we give him mm -hmm. a chair mm -hmm. and he's fast with the chair. <laughs> and at, at a certain point, that can be yeah. a problem because he doesn't mm. understand why mm. he's fast. Ah, because he's fast in the races when he sees another. It's a pit bull. He like, ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why his result, you know, from the Saturday to Sunday or Friday to Saturday is... It's, it's a pure well, racer, pure, pure racer. racer. And the next Japanese in arriving, what do you think about uh, Ogura-san? Ogura, yeah, he's very talented rider, I would say. Now, yeah, from my opinion, yes, if yeah, of course, he he built up by uh, Honda quite a long time. But if he jump on KTM, maybe he is very. But KTM where well, you mean? I don't know. Da, 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 da. But the, in Moto Two, you mm. mean? No, in Moto GP. No, 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 no Moto GP. Yeah. If, Do you think he's ready to go to Moto GP? I think so. Yes. Mm. I think so. But. Yeah, he, well, from my opinion, he should be MotoGP last year. No? But not on a Honda. Not <laughs> because on Honda. If he gets Honda, he gets no. completely crazy, no? Yeah, true. So, 
if he jump on KTM, I think he can make good results. Well, this is my, my personal the, the, opinion. The, yeah. uh, in a couple of days, they will mm. present the new team. At least he has changed. He has uh, changed the team, mm. new air, so yeah. far away from Aoyama San, mm. I think. Maybe this is what he's missing to mature. For me, Ogura is fast, mm. but he mentally, some, he, from my point yeah. of view, I may, I may be wrong. Sometimes he loses the, the focus, you know, mm -hmm. because a rider who is up there, then yeah. suddenly is down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know very well, it's a process. First, you are top 10. Yep. Then you have to be a while yep. fighting mm -hmm. for the podium. Mm -hmm. There is nobody from top 10 to win the race. It does, does not exist. And I think Ogura is in this process. He has mm -hmm. to, to focus. Yeah. Japan needs Japan needs a needs. world champion so much, mm. so much. I know because, I, as you know, uh, I work for riding sport and you need urgently a world champion. Urgently. <laughs> urgently. Yeah. Sasaki was close and it didn't work, but, mm. and Finn. Nobu, thank you very much. No, thank you. And what about your brothers? What are they doing? My, my brother, I have the, I have, Takuma, Oki Takuma and, and Haruchika Oki. Yes. And you know, Takuma crashed 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah, no, no. And he raced for uh, rally, rally race. Cars? Cars. <laughs> yes. In uh, Japan and also Asia. But on, on tarmac or on off road? Off road. Oh. Off road. Also, he made uh, Ruman 24 uh -huh. hours. 2002, I believe. Yeah. And is he fast or not? Uh, pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> and which car does he drive? Uh, LMP2? Yeah. I yeah. don't know. Well, the, the category which is uh, from second. second but one. is there a brand like BMW or Mercedes or not? Uh, which is, wow, well, the pure racing car. Ah, pure racing car. Yeah, yeah. And Haruchika? And Haruchika make speedway race in Japan. Is he still a rider? And how does he do? <laughs> Pretty okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So the only one who is not racing are you. Is By it? the way, uh, mm. you know that Ducati <coughs> is going to have a team, Kagayama team in uh, Japan. In Japan. Yeah. The other day he was in Jerez with the rider Mizu uh, Mizuno. Mizuno, yes. yes. Yep. And they are going to race the eight hours. Mm -hmm. So it's a total attack. No, thanks a lot. No, thank you. It's always a pleasure. You too. Thank you.